I happened to see this trailer, okay, official trailer of Rajni Khan from the starring in this movie. Great graphics, looks really nice. You know, you can see the birds flying and everything else. And you know, obviously, it's superstar Rajni Khan who's acting in this movie. And for those of you who do not know who's Rajni Khan, Rajni Khan is this really popular Indian actor who's Tamilian. I think it's Tamilian. He's born in 1950, okay, 12th December 1950. The guy is 67 years old. He is officially like grandpa, okay? You can call him grandfather. Someone who's 67 is a grandfather. So the guy is really old. He's a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. He's a nice guy, really, really nice guy, gem of a guy. He has won six Tamil Nadu uh, film awards, best actor, special awards for best actor. He has been awarded by India, uh, the Padma Bhushan in 2000, the highest award a civilian can get. Padma Vibhushan to 2016 for his contribution to arts. He has also, uh, you know, been bestowed by the, uh, given the International Film Festival Award in 2014 as a centenary award for Indian personality, film personality of the year. Okay, all that is great. But the fact of the matter is, the guy is old. He is old, you know, 67 is grandpa. 67 is not young man. 67 is not hero. 67 is not, you know, wow, I'm going to show you. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I understand the passion, the love and the hero worship Indian audiences have when they when they see ning, 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 when they see the girls dancing and you know, gyrating and all that they go ah, they go this way and when um, the hero comes yeah he comes like this and like that and they go crazy like Salman Khan can have big muscles and Shah Rukh Khan <laughs> and you know he can cry and the, the girls go Shah Rukh Khan <laughs> and um, so I understand this crazy, you know, madness for these actors. Fine. Okay. But then you're talking of a grandfather. You're, you're talking of an old man, like 67. He's, a, he's, a, he's an old guy. And then you're putting a guy who is old enough to be a grandfather in a movie where, okay, it's very colorful and very nice. What are you trying to do? I mean, and then if you see this movie, it is so bloody cartoonish. It's like watching an animated cartoon. You know, these face, all these mobile phones apparently go up and become some kind of funky shape. I love the cinema shots, which are wide angle, which is not bad. But then, come on, man. Ask yourself, what sense does this make? It's like putting Clint Eastwood, who is nearly in his 80s, as this amazing guy who's young. And you can clearly make out, if you see the trailer, it's so cartoonish with all these mobile phones becoming this eagle and everything else. And, uh, you know, Rajinikanth as, as this young guy. It looks so... He, he looks like a Barbie doll, you know? So what I don't seem to understand is Agreed that you love the actor, you worship him. I, I understand that. But there should be a there should be an understanding or a line drawn where it makes sense or where it's 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 absolutely absurd. And right now it's moving to the point of being totally nonsensical. When you have grandpa, old, old grandpa trying to be like young superstar. He's acting with, you know, with women who are enough to be, forget his daughters. He's acting with women who are old enough to be his, not just granddaughters, great granddaughters, you know. So I'm not hating on the guy. He's a good human being. He's a wonderful human being. He's a great, there's no attack on his character. I wouldn't even do that. I wouldn't even dare to rape. He is such an amazing human being. So. I'm giving credit where credit is due. But come on. <laughs> Putting a guy, give him a decent role. I mean, give him a role where he's like the godfather, you know, Marlon Brando and the godfather. I can understand that. But putting an old man to be like, you know, Superman, 
that's that's i don't know man <laughs> there's i think there's just lack of imagination in the indian cinema there is this dumb you know blind obedience that these some of these fans have where they worship a person larger than life so anything the person does is like wow let's keep aside the fact that he's a good human being he's a great man he has done wonderful things he has contributed to society helped the poor he's a philanthropist please stop making <laughs> grandpa you know look like superman there should be some common sense somewhere i know that there are hollywood movies like superman like hulk but then when you start putting clint eastwood as superman or when you start putting your great grandfather who is like 70 years old to be this way yeah come on it's it's like me with my ugly tattooed face i'm trying to be handsome you know it's it's stupid man come on so this is my view on the ridiculously i mean the movie trailer itself is so cartoonish so i just thought i'd give you my views on this it's it's this this ridiculous movie this i don't know south indian movies are like yeah they jump up in the air and all that stuff okay if you're superman and spider man and all that i can understand these are ordinary human beings jumping across and the cars are flying and all that <sighs> yeah you just don't know what to tell people when they ask you you know why indian movie like ding 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 and uh, <laughs> why does every indian movie have the same script the same retardation the same nonsense love and and now it's it's like matrix cartoons you know that is what is working so you just put this big name that people go crazy about have a ridiculously stupid story which doesn't make any sense and do all these crazy ass graphics and it's a hit and you make millions and billions so rip artistry creativity and originality and welcome to stupidity thanks to cgi so this is what i have to say let me know your thoughts if you think i'm wrong love to hear your views this is <laughs> this is me saying of for now take care